Hi there. Ah, sorry. Not a good way to start a video. Um, so I am working on an order right now. And then I also got the new subscription box last week. Haven't had a chance to play with any of them, but um, they're here and I'm really, really, really excited. So um, I've got my cup. You can kind of see a little bit of uh, paint here and there. This is actually a hydro dip fail. I stripped it and for what I'm about to do to it It's okay that there's a teensy bit of um, paint still on there. If you're just joining Literally you haven't missed a single thing So I'm about to put my cup on a uh, Hi Leanne I'm about to put my cup on a little noodle my camera is actually not positioned where I thought it was and I didn't realize it until I had already hit start um, so I'm just gonna go with it and wing it so I apologize if I miss your comment it is not intentional so I'm just wrapping my uh, noodle here I needed just a little bit more security because of the way I'm about to hold this I've got 20 milliliters of epoxy mixed up. Hi, Britt. But I am not going to use anywhere near that amount. So here we go. After we're done with this, I'm going to show you guys the newest subscription box colors. I'm so excited. Um, for this cup, we're using Navy Seal, which is a black blue shift and disco ball. Straight silver chunky. It's not holographic at all. Uh, this is actually the third cup like this I'll be making for this person. Um, this is not how I would normally do this, but because I have this tripod in the way, I'm having to wing it, but that's okay. I also want it thicker on the bottom anyways, because I like how my chunky glitters settle into that thicker epoxy. For the top part, we're going to go as thin as possible. But for this bottom part, I really do like having that little extra. Just adding that to the top there. Rub it in and then take it down. Again, I apologize for this alignment. It's been a little while since I've been able to go live because um, last weekend we had family stuff. And the weekend before that, I was on a cruise. I love cruises so much. And now with all this coronavirus uh, scare and hype, there's uh, amazingly cheap deals right now. If I could take off work, I would do it. I have no problem washing my hands 30 times a day or more if needed. Hi, Tina. But uh, we have an office vacation about once every three or four years. The very first one, you may have heard this in another video, the very first office vacation we took was a cruise to Cozumel and back. The engine room caught fire on the trip back. Ooh, I almost spilled that. Literally caught fire on the trip back. And the room, hi Wendy. The engine room was so hot that they could not go in and work on anything to solve any problems for days. Oh my gosh, Bailey. Um, I love White Wedding. I love it so much that I'm literally nearly out. I did a cute little um, skinny yesterday. It's kind of a pending order that if it falls through, I'm okay with it because... Hi, Jackie. Welcome to your first live. Um, a super cute little skinny for someone that... If it doesn't, pay, uh, if it falls through, I'm totes okay with it because Ariel is beautiful. That's a new one for me. It's real similar to Zoe, just a little bit uh, thinner. I mean, <laughs> hello, I've got epoxy on my brain. It's just a little bit uh, lighter aqua tone than Zoe. So I'm just getting really, really thin for this part. I'm going to go a little thicker on this. I'm going to add to this because... Um, I do like it thicker right there. And I'm actually going to turn up my brightness. I'm sorry. Okay, great. Sorry about that. So just going real thin. So back to my story. 
I have like a thousand squirrels running through my brain right now. So it was a few years before we were allowed to go on office vacation again. And since the second office cruise went off without a hitch, other than um, a completely comical story that probably isn't appropriate to tell on here. Um, it went off without a hitch, no problems. So we got to go again. So we went at the very last weekend of February and it was so much fun. I've talked about my work family a lot in a lot of my videos because I love them. If you don't love your coworkers and you've worked there for 10 years, you're gonna probably die really young. <laughs> That's my theory. So anyways, I'm just gonna go a little thicker here, work it around. I feel like my epoxy is kind of setting up a little faster, probably because I overheated it with my lamp. It's because I got caught up watching The Masked Singer. I don't usually watch TV because I'm usually out here doing something or playing with my chickens or something. I've been trying to be a gym rat lately, too. That's not really panning out, but uh, anyways, I am hooked on that show. Oh, my gosh. I'm on about halfway through the newest season right now, watching it on Hulu, and it's addicting. I used to make fun of my mom because she would talk to me about it like she thought I cared. <laughs> Turns out, I do. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. We're actually going to make some earrings in just a minute. I might add it to a keychain mold that I'm working on. I have a beautiful Texas and um, I might do that. So I'm gonna take this glove. Hi, Deb. I'm gonna take this glove off. No, I'm not. It's hot in here and I'm sweaty. So I've got my wax paper down to catch my excess glitter. I'm just gonna take this to about right here, just like the last one I did for her. And then we have this really great sticker. This is one of their actual team stickers. It's perfect. If it was any bigger, it wouldn't work. So I'm just going to do this right here to about right there. And don't worry about being heavy handed if you haven't done this before. You actually kind of need to be heavy handed because any spots of epoxy that are thick, too thick, you really need it as thin as you can get it. Any spots of epoxy that are too thick, your glitter is just going to soak right in. So we're going to go over this again in a little bit. But for now, I'm just gonna do this spot that I need. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you all the glitters. I'm so excited. If y'all don't have a subscription box from Friends, I mean, that is the most exciting day of the month for me. Uh, when I hear, when I get the notification that it's out and for delivery, I'm on pins and needles until our mail person comes. And I go crazy on the days that they come after we're closed. But I love them. Um, they didn't used to have a theme. Um, as uh, Heather, a subscription box is once a month, Fran kind of, I guess you could call it curates, a collection of glitters that she's never had before. And it's just a total surprise. Sometimes she'll do a reveal on the website if you just cannot wait to see what's in there and you just got to see it. But it's um, it's like $30, I think, and that includes the shipping, unless you ship it with other stuff. Sometimes she has extras left over. But um, if you want to try it, there's a code on the top of her website. It's probably like new 2020 or something like that. But I'm... Um, Oh, Heather, FransGlitterAndMore.com. That's just my favorite glitter supplier. I've ordered from a couple of them. Uh, I can see why you would not know what that was. I'm sorry about that. I just assume because, man, love that place. Fran's amazing. Her sister helps her out, uh, getting their orders out amazingly fast. So, Leanne knows. Leanne knows what's up. <laughs> so, here's what we have here. So now I'm going to just set this aside. I'll worry about scooping this back into the container later. I don't really have time for that right now. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. So anyways, that subscription box, it's $30. Yes, Heather, I will be glad to post the website. It's www.fransglitterandmore.com, but I will post it for you. Uh, whenever we're done here, I'll be happy to. There's a the new customer code. Sorry, I was off camera a little bit. Uh, across the website, but I also have a referral link that'll get you a $5 coupon. So whichever one of those works out best for you, you're welcome. Um, whichever one of those works out best for you for savings. I do get a $5 coupon, but I've already told Fran, I'm not going to use them all because that's not fair. Because um, um, I love her stuff and I would be ordering it with or without coupons. Hi, Patricia. Okay, so see right here. This happens very rarely, right here. That's just a little fluke of the glitter. It's very uncommon. If you were to epoxy over it, it would blend right in. But since I happened to catch it, I just went ahead and pulled it. It's not a big deal at all for those because they, they're called hairs sometimes. You'll see them a lot in the fine glitter. It just doesn't break apart after it's getting, after it's been cut. So, um, so anyways, that subscription box, I'm so sorry. I am, I've got a million squirrels and then to see the comments pop up, I'm trying to do both. I apologize. Um, but anyways, it's great. They didn't used to have any kind of a flow or a theme. They were just great new colors, but the last mm, six or seven months, I feel like they've had a great theme to them. This month's theme is a little bit more spring or Eastery. Uh, the one before was all green tones. I'll actually show y'all. They happen to be sitting here next to me. Um, but they all have a green shift of some sort. Um, and then the one before that was kind of valentines -y. Black, white, red. Beautiful colors. Amour is one of my absolute favorite colors. In fact, I have an earring that's just a solo right here of Amour. It's pink, slightly orange, slightly bronze, and um, a hint of green every once in a while. But that's what we have going there. I don't see any bald spots. If I do, I'll Mod Podge them and fix it. But I'm gonna actually put this on my turner because I did go thicker here. Normally, if you do epoxy method, you would not have to do that. But because I went thicker there, I don't want it to whoop, gravity. Sorry, I'm so loud right now. My face is literally right by the camera. Ooh, I see a slick spot. Oh, Holly, you're so sweet. I know enough to be dangerous, but I wish I knew as much as some. There are some amazing cut makers out there. It blows my mind. I was browsing Pinterest last night. Holy smokes. I aspire to have a fraction of the skill that some of the cut makers have. Okay, so I went ahead and started my turner here because I want it to turn. I don't think it's going to show up on the screen or on camera, but right here I have a slick spot. Yes, Patricia, it's incredibly intimidating. Oh my gosh. At least I don't pretend to know everything. If I pretended to know everything, I'd be in a world of hurt. Because it would be very quickly found out that I don't know squat compared to most anybody. And I actually take that with my day job also. <laughs> Patricia, when someone says, I know nothing or you know nothing, I can't help but think of Game of Thrones. Um, Heather, don't be scared, but be prepared to make a lot of mistakes and strip some cups. Uh, I have stripped plenty. I've been doing this a little over a year. I'd say 15 months maybe. And I just stripped cups literally. This is a sanded down cup that I had to strip because a hydro dip was horrific. And if it makes you feel any better... This one's in the strip pile. Horrible. It was the cowhide. I did one uh, just the other day. I, Heather, yes, I did make my own turner. I do have a bunch of other ones, though. 
I made that one. I'm going to try and turn this for a second. Don't mind my mess. Uh, okay. I also made this one with a rotisserie. <laughs> yeah, Leanne, oh my gosh. But I did already replace it, so it's all good. She actually picked it up last week. It's so pretty, but I can't post it on my Facebook page because it's a teacher gift and it's a kind of unique spelling. So I don't want to risk somebody seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy that I had a spare water slide. Um, so I'm just going to set this off to the side. I've got that going. Uh, Gina, the... Hi, Tabitha. Gina, the blue is called... Ooh, I almost dumped that because the lid wasn't on. Navy Seal. It's a blue... Um, blue and black shift. It just looks navy. And then the other one is called disco ball it's just a chunky silver I love how these are um it's like three or four sizes in there so it fills in all the gaps and holes uh Tabitha these are all from Franz Glitter and More.com that's where 99% of my stuff has come from I got some just the other day from uh Glitter Craze I think so I uh I haven't used them yet, but I just have a few from Glitter Craze. So, really quickly, I am going to, before this sets up the rest of the way, I'm going to add a little bit more glitter and epoxy to this. I just dumped some leftovers in there yesterday, but I knew it wasn't quite enough. Uh, Heather, the jars are two ounces. And I have done, let's see, this is, I haven't dumped a bunch back, so I'm going to say it's probably still half full. And I've done three tops plus another project. So they last a long time when you have a good thick polyester glitter. Yes, Tabitha, Franz, glitter, and more.com is where this comes from. And there's a code on the top of her website for new customers and then I'll also post a referral link where you'll get a five dollar coupon if you use that um, if you've never ordered from her before uh, one of those two depending on which one get Ooh, this is so thick over it it's addicting right oh my gosh welcome to the addiction okay this is hi Rose this is way too thick I'm not so sure that this is going to work like I need it to, but that's okay because I can go in and fill this in again later. Um, yeah, Leanne, it's a better than a regular drug problem. I'd rather have glitter. And I pretty much only do cups. I've done some keychains. Uh, that's majority of it. I have actually dabbled into earrings. In fact, these little holes right here I tinkered with last night with these little studs they're a fail but that's okay this one turned off turned out so off-centered Michelle I will absolutely post that website and the link for the five dollars so that you can see which one works better for you like I mentioned earlier I do get a five dollar coupon but I order her stuff anyways so I'm not not planning on using them so this is way thick, so <laughs> it's okay though. I'm gonna heat it up and throw my mask on. I hate heating it up because I wanted to not talk like Bane for a minute. Okay, so that's good enough. Oh my gosh, when it starts sticking to my glove, that's when I know it's time. <laughs> It's like a cartoon. It just keeps sticking to my hand, no matter what I do. So let's go ahead and just take this one off. It's just not meant to be sometimes. So since I'm not gonna really heat this up very much, I'm not gonna be super worried about my mask right now. So I'm just gonna kinda throw that over there. Sorry for the sound. It also makes my lights go dim because I'm working off of a extension cord. I hate doing this because it will shorten the life of your silicone molds. 
And I paid like $15 for that mold because I wanted that so bad. And then Fran started carrying one literally moments later, it seems like. Uh, Tabitha, I use uh, Envirotech, Envirotex Light. And uh, Bailey, this is State Fair. I'm about to show y'all all of last month and this month's glitters. Heather, I just used this off of Amazon. I think I paid $27 or $30 or something like that. Um, just basic. I have a torch. I had an embossing gun, and it lasted really well. A lot longer than I expected it to. So I'm going to move this over now. So this is State Fair. Holy smokes. It's gorgeous. I happen to have some earrings sitting right here. I've been wearing them almost exclusively for a week. I used to only wear these two particular sets of Kendra Scott's. And now that I've gotten a few glitters handily, uh, handily <laughs> lately, uh, they have taken over my life. So State Fair and Chameleon Chunky. This is like a copper to green shift. I think I showed these in another video not too, too long ago. But this is last month's subscription, not this month's. Uh, Ursula 2.0 is really, really nice. It's very slightly different than Ursula regular. I think it has more fine in it, um, but it's they're both gorgeous. Green Goblin is definitely more of a gold to green shift. I do this on top of all my bottles so that whenever I have my huge containers that have about 30 to 40 of them in there, I can see right away what I have. But I also have these little discs here. I'll show you. Leanne, it's very handy. And then I also do these little discs because at my next vendor event, I wasn't really prepared for my last one last year, but it was just at my church. So I knew that most of the ladies I was going to encounter already knew what I was doing. So I wasn't too, too worried about it. So those four, and then here's the fifth uh, color for last month's sub box. It is beautiful. I just made earrings out of it too. It's like a aqua, aqua green to aqua blue. It's not like electric blue or anything, but there is no way that you can get the full effect of this. I know, Bailey, it's holy cow. I'm addicted. Okay, so these five were last month's subscription. And I think they just came available on the website uh, maybe a few days ago. Oh, I missed somebody's comment. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyways, I love these so much. And then I also got recently, I convinced myself that I needed some more. This is Michaela. It's rose gold. Oh, you're welcome, Tina. I'm glad it works because it's so easy to see what you have handy, uh, especially in a short or a smaller capacity. So this is Michaela. It's like a rose gold and magenta purple. It's really pretty. It's almost like rose gold and purple rain blended together. And that might be exactly what it is. That's what it looks like to me anyways. And I just got this one. This is Ariel. It's ever so slightly lighter than Zoe. Uh, Heather, I actually did a tutorial on that one day. I poured epoxy in, these are coin capsules, um, that I made. I poured a little epoxy in there, and then I just poured a bunch of chunky on top of it. <clears throat> Let it settle in. For the fine glitters, I do swirl them around. And Michelle, for the cowhide cup, the one I had to strip, and the one that was successful, and the one that was in another tutorial, those were all Zoe. They're very, very similar. In fact, I have the one I need to strip and the other one handy, so bear with me. I'll show you actually on a cup side by side. Okay, so this is side by side, how close those are. 
just a little bit more green aqua or green turquoise versus blue turquoise. Very similar, but slightly different. And this is white wedding on top. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorites. I think she's about to start offering white wedding and a couple of other colors. Helen, yeah, I love these colors so much. Uh, she's going to start offering a couple of her most common colors, popular colors, in larger bottles, which would be so amazing because that'll keep me from going through this one so fast. I literally use this one so much, it's labeled number one because it's my go-to. Oh, oh, oh. I also got this other one, Science Project. I may have one of these. Nope, I don't have an earring of this one handy because I took them all uh, on my trip to work on in the car. But it's so cool. It's almost like galaxy, but chunky. It looks like black glitter, but straight rainbow holographic. So now, drum roll, here is this month's subscription box. So she draws randomly 10, I think, 10 orders of people that did subscriptions to get what's called a mega box. And after like nine months of subscriptions, I was so excited that I was, I was picked. My order number actually populated for the first time. I was so excited. So this one happened to have some water slides in it. Normally there's one extra little something in there. Uh, there's five glitters, new ones. And there's usually something like, um, silicone mold or a little sample of shaped glitter or something like I got Christmas trees or something in one and I got uh, shamrocks in the last one but she just added these new she's got a new designer I think her name is Stacy but I may be completely wrong on that um I know Fran has posted her Etsy shop on the Facebook group so if you haven't already joined the group do that there's so much information you're welcome Michelle uh, there's so much information available in that group. Everyone's so willing to help. It is limited to friends' products, understandably. Uh, but you can get a lot of information there. But all of these happen to be in that mega box. I'm stoked about. But uh, anyway, so that's part of it. And then this is a super fine glitter. It's literally a powder. I've used this in a couple of cups. It's in one of my tutorials before. I do happen to already have this one. It's called Cosmic. It is about as fine a glitter as you can get other than mica. It hardly takes any of that to um, get the effect you want. And then this is kind of a salmony pink mica. Basically, it's like eyeshadow. I have not really done much with micas yet. I plan to do a Northern Lights tutorial someday. I don't know when, but it'll be someday. Literally the only thing I've ever done with micas is this. I added <laughs> glitter everywhere. Uh, I added it to the epoxy. I'm uh, not very good at that ratio. I bought this kit here from Michael's a while back, but it's only been cracked open and used once. And then it happened to have this alcohol ink, Marabou alcohol ink. Like I said, part of the mega box, they do uh, draw a few uh, winners of that per month. Okay, now for the good stuff. Love it. Lola. It is the cutest peach with a green iridescent shift. I don't know how much that's actually going to do it justice, but it's gorgeous. And then the other find is Peter Rabbit. It's very much like Cinderella, which I don't have handy, which is kind of surprising because I usually do have that one around. This has a little bit more green and pink shift to it. Cinderella tends to have, to me, um, a little bit more pink and yellow to it. Uh, Tabitha, I know she's working on a restock. She's had a major influx of new customers lately, and I know that there's been some delays on stuff. 
this one is adorable. Ellen, the website um, is fr actually right here. How convenient. Friendsglitterandmore.com. I will post it in the description in a little while. I can't add a description until after I'm done going live and it processes. Sky high. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like baby blue, but with a lavender shift. I can't wait to use it. And then this one, Leah, it's pink with kind of a holographic. I don't think you can really see it on, on the camera, but it has a little bit more of a greenish holographic, not a rainbow like some. And the one I'm the mostest excited about, because I've been looking for a yellow chunky for so long, is Peeps. It's literally the color of Peeps. So that is not a stretch at all, but I'm so excited about it because I plan very soon to make a rainbow geode. That'll be another tutorial soon. Get that cleared up. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm so excited. I've been looking for a yellow chunky for forever. I ordered this for my orange option, but it's like a shattered glass. It's like shards but I think it's still gonna work uh, for the geode that I wanna do. So that is all I have for y'all. I do wanna show you one more thing. This is Ariel as an earring. I haven't done Zoe as an earring. Probably won't need to since they are so close. I haven't cleaned this up just yet, but they just go with everything. I do have some more earring molds that are supposed to be here any day now. But, um, yeah. So just to recap, the cup spinning back there in the background, disco ball, and navy seal. It's going to have a great logo for their um, baseball team. And then we're going to put the kids' number right here on the opposite side. And then last month's subscription box had Green Goblin. Golden Green. State Fair, I kid you not, there is no way to describe this glitter. Oh my gosh, I literally am making loads of stuff out of it. It is probably not natural. <laughs> it's probably not healthy, the love I have for State Fair. I made my coworkers all a set of earrings out of Amour, which is kind of similar, but more pink and green versus the purple and green. And yesterday my boss was like, Jess, sometimes your ears, your earrings look green and sometimes they look pink. I'm like, oh yes, it's a new glitter. <laughs> she had already seen it. She knew. Uh, so that's those two. Chameleon Chunky. I can't wait to use this one. I think I'm going to do this one on a black base. I've seen some people do this on a black base and it is beautiful. Ursula 2.0. Yeah, Michelle the... Oof, man, the sparkle is real. I know there's no way that this camera is doing justice because my lighting is not great. Yeah, Bailey, oh my gosh. I am so tempted to go buy another bottle just for the sake of having another bottle. I kid you not. I can't explain to you how gorgeous it is in person. It just goes with everything. I wear black scrubs and it just, oh, it's life right now. Uh, Bora Bora. It's like an aqua to blue shift. So that was last month's. And then this month's was Peter Rabbit, Lola, oh yeah, Peeps, and Sky High. I can't wait to do this one too. I'm going to pair this one with the lavender. I've got an iridescent purple that's uh, it's actually in my view and in my reach. I think I'm going to pair it with this Cheshire. We'll see how those two look together. Yeah, Ellen, I can't wait to use this one. Uh, yeah, I might pair it with that, but I do have another one that's not so iridescent, not so holographic, called Moana, but it's not within sight or reach. I might also do this. That'd be pretty too, Purple Passion. It's way softer in person than it is on the screen. But anyways, that's that. And then, like I said, I took the plunge and bought Ariel. So pretty. 
Michaela. I really, really, really wish that I had a science project earring that I could show you. It's gorgeous. I don't see my little sample that I made. It's around here somewhere, but it's like black but holographic. Mm, love it. If you guys enjoy my videos, do you mind giving them a thumbs up? It kind of helps with the search results, I think. So that's all I have for y'all. I did my recap. I showed you all my goodies. I was so excited. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so I got this mold the other day. It's been sitting on my coffee table for a couple weeks now. But on screen, I was like, oh, that's cool. 2020, my daughter would love that. It's a clock. It's a silicone mold that holds a clock. I had no idea. <laughs> big this would be look at the size of this thing oh my gosh so I work at an optical which I've mentioned multiple times so 2020 is kind of a thing for me so my daughter who's 12 and too cool for school said mom I don't want that thing I was like okay fine I'll make it for something else <laughs> so it comes with the hardware to do the clock and everything but it's got the little indentions I cannot fathom how much epoxy this is gonna take. But before I give it a shot, I'm gonna fill it with water and then measure it out. Cause holy smokes. But I know it has to be heavy enough to offset the weight of the battery and the um, mechanism back there. But, oh man. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop a note on there uh, in the comments. And, uh, yeah, Tabitha, it's neat, but it's massive. But that's okay. I've got a good spot for it at the office. Um, but anyways, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to just drop a line. I'll be glad to try and answer it. Um, if you like my videos, please uh, thumbs up them when you get a moment. Um, say hi. Subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. So I'm going to say hi to y'all real quick. Please don't judge my uh background it is so hot in here look at my little wing right there it's so hot in here right now texas can't decide what it wants to do because it's blazing um, i wouldn't think that we would need the air conditioner so soon so yeah so that's it hi samson haven't seen you comment yet so if i missed one earlier so sorry about that i'm gonna post friends website and the coupon referral code thing like I said five dollars off if you use that code but there is a code on top of the site if you've never ordered from her before that will allow you I think it's 10% off so see which one works best for you go from there uh, but I know she's out of stock and I know she's working on uh, and some stuff is already on the way but uh, yeah that's it you guys have a great night and thanks for hanging out with me and very soon I mentioned this in the last video very soon I'm gonna do a ship lap some people call it shipwreck tutorial I have to say that very carefully otherwise it comes out wrong and I know there might be some kids in the background I um, we will probably use just regular Berea Reese brown and probably not the latte probably more like teak wood or something you're welcome Ellen I hope you enjoyed it um I don't know what I'll use yet I've got to do a little homework but possibly teak wood and possibly that Bria Reese because it has more red in it it's the color I used for the deer head um, tutorial just a couple weeks ago or maybe earlier this week time's flying by man so that's it you guys have a great night, and um, bye. Good night, Tina. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll probably do this again sometime early next week. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much.